Hello, April. Why would you build a castle on top of a pyramid? Now this is the Great Pyramid of Cholula, Puebla, Mexico, right here. And you know, we can see, uh, this is Mexico right below the United States. If you're just joining in, thank you. Here's a replica of it. So the story goes, supposedly, they didn't know that that big hill was a pyramid underneath, but how could you not know? How could you not know that that was a pyramid, you all? That's, that's what I'm wondering, since I'm talking about pyramids. Uh, and it says, uh, they say that it's the largest pyramid in the world. Um, hello and good morning. The largest pyramid in the world. Look at this headline right here. You can come this is the dusty old thing. The world's largest pyramid. Oh, look. I wonder why that, why is that letter gone like that, you all? That's really strange. Why would the letter Y be missing from there? That's real strange. Maybe it's just a mistake. So um, it says, when you hear the word pyramid, you probably automatically think of the pyramids in Egypt. Yeah, that's what I think. I think about the pyramids in Egypt. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. But the largest one is in North America. Um, in North America, and we can see the base of it here. This is um, an article. Let me flip this back around. So it's called the, um, the Great Pyramid of Cholula is impressive. It's 216 feet tall, and the base of the structure, look at this, this is what they use. The base of the structure is more than 200,000 square feet, four times the size of the Great Pyramid's base in Gaza, Egypt. Now that's pretty imp impressive. It's really impressive. So, um, they, this is like this, Business Insider video broke it down to an Olympic swimmer. Look at this, nine Olympic swimming pools long and 1.3 swimming pools tall. So we've got this, um, this great pyramid right here. This is what it would have looked like in Mexico, just like that. Why would they hide it? Why wouldn't they tell them, um, hello, they're in Holland. Hello. Why wouldn't they tell people about it? See, that's a good question to ask. Why wouldn't you want to tell people about that great pyramid? And um, that's a little too dark, Gina, honey. You got to leave that light on. Um, why wouldn't they want to tell people about it? You know, indeed, pyramids, I believe pyramids are literally scattered all across the world on every single continent. And then if that's the case, why? You have to ask yourself, why would the pyramids be scattered all across the world on every single continent? Okay, there's even pyramids in Indiana. There's pyramids in Indiana, and they call them mounds, of course, over time. Of course, the tip at the top of the, the uh, pyramid would erode away, but look at this. They built a castle up there, the early, I guess, conquistadors, or I don't know who they were, um, but look. So there were ancient gods, and why do you think people would do their sacrificing? Uh, you know, they'd sacrifice to the gods and to the volcano gods, and that's really interesting when you hear, when you read about um, the volcanoes, and there are many, many um, tales about the gods in the volcanoes. Okay, what if there really are these um, ancient Nephilim-like beings, these immortals that down deep into the volcanoes, what if that is their base in the volcanoes way down in there? And these, and they required sacrifices. What if that? What if that's true? Because you know they they go on top these pyramids. They would back then, and they do their sacrifices. You all, and I'm thinking that's horrific. That is so horrific. You know, um, no, don't be doing that. Don't be doing that's kind of gross. But then, um, to each their own. Look at this right here. See, they want us to focus all on Egypt, but then I think these pyramids were all over the place. And good morning. Um, Good morning, everyone. So if you really think about it, I'm okay, I just wanna say, I'm not an expert on this at all. You can find lots of people on the YouTube or you can even do your search. You can read articles and stuff about 
the pyramids and the history and why the pyramids are found all over the world, you can do your own research. You really can. Um, you don't need someone to tell you. So I just like to do my own research. I really did. I wanted to be an archaeologist when I was in, um, uh, I don't know. Oh, no, you all. Do you see what they just done to me? They just made my screen like that. This is the fourth time this has ever happened to me. The fourth time. It's like a frequency came through. Can, can I see your all's comments? A frequency has come through. This is the fourth time that this has happened to me. Yes, it is codes. The fourth time, you all. And I, I, I'm turning my phone sideways, and you can see the codes are still there. This is... This is really, um, no, this, this happens to me. This is only the fourth time. Only one other time before, when I was sitting here uh, at my computer up here in this room, I don't even know what I was talking about, and this happened to me. Oh, this is only the second time up here. The other two times were down there on my porch. Uh, on there, let, me, let me try to see if I can, wait a minute. What if, what if I'm at, down below me, what if there is a main um, ley line underneath my feet? I'm trying to think of where I would be right now. I'm in half the part of the house. This is the spot. There's something, there's some kind of a ley line underneath me, you all. Some, some type of a ley line. Um, yeah, some type of a ley line, I think some kind of frequency right below me under the ground. And I, I mapped out all my ley lines, you all. Yeah, I've, uh, I've mapped out. Let me, let's, let's turn this to the side. Let me see if I, if I can put my hand in front of, see, you can't see me. Wait, yeah, you see when it goes, I'm, I'm waving my hand in front of it like this, just ever so slightly is what I'm doing. Waving my hand. I've got my hand directly in front of it directly in front of it, right like this. Um, so, um, yes. Now, okay, watch this. So if I bring my hand closer to it, very close up, this is what it looks like, close up. Completely, my hand is literally, it's not touching my screen, but it's in the middle of my screen. Just the, the tips of, or the parts of my finger, if these are light codes, are they light codes? Um, Oh, and I've moved my hand and that stayed in that spot. I've moved my hand and it stayed in that spot. Okay, now I can run my hand across it and you can see the other frequency uh, coming from me that's going across here. Yeah, this is pretty cool. It's pretty wild. I know what's going to happen. As This only happens when that phone, this camera is literally pointing at me, I think is when it happens. It's pointing at me, I'm talking into here and um, it's, it's pointed at me because I will probably be able, if I push that button and push it back to that screen, it might, uh, it will probably go away. But it's only when it's at me, uh, is it doing this? Um, no, it's not, there's no evil, there's not a single bit of negative energy associated with this. Uh, I promise you, if I felt negative energy, I would tell you. So we're not going to leave it like that. I, I'm, I am going to... Um, I'm just moving my hand. I got my hand flat up against it right now. The whole palm of my hand, well, not the palm, but my hand is, my fingers are spread apart and they're, the fingers, they're spread apart and they're right there in front of the screen, completely in front of the screen. And that's what it looks like. No, my camera's not failing. Uh, this is the fourth time that it's happened to me, you all, the fourth time. Yeah, so um, it, it can feel my um, thing. I'm going to push the camera around because I was, this is like right there. See, and if I flitch it back, it's all back to normal. What I was doing, I was putting my hand up to the screen like that, and it was moving on me. You all, this is the fourth time it's ever happened to me. Um, two times up. This is the second time up here in this spot, and two times on my porch down below me. Um, and I think it's right around the same area. Um, there very well could be some type of... Um, a ley line, uh, something underneath there, some energies coming through or something like that. Uh, 
Well, I, let me just say this. One other time that happened, one other time, I was in my living room and I took a picture of my sage that I had harvested. It was in a box. I took a picture of it and the screen was totally green with, with light codes going all up it. But that was the very first time. That was back in around 2019 or 2018. I had a green to total screen. Um, but that was just in a picture, but only during live stream. This is only the second time. So now four times uh, this happened to me. But um, yes, um, yes, my goodness. So look at this. So this is um, from the, the world's largest pyramid right here is um, what it was. Yeah. Let's see. Play 520 frequency. Hello, everyone. So um, the, why did you, why would you build your castle on top of the world's largest pyramid? I don't think that's by accident. I really don't think that's by accident because um, if, if you research, oh my gosh, look what they did. They had to have all this fancy gold and all this kind of stuff. Hello there, King Ahuka Mundo. They had to have all this fancy gold. Um, look, Museo. So this is uh, in North America, Mexico. I think that's the end of their pictures right there. I really do. We're at this, uh, the world's largest pyramid uh, where they built a castle on top of it. And, you know, you can see, um, look at all these pyramids. You know, this was really interesting right here. All these pyramids in the world, and why do they have a pyramid shape? Okay, and you have pyramidal, pyramid spaceships. Look at this. So the queen, this is, um, the queen had this castle built. You all, this is really interesting. If you hadn't heard about this, this is the very first time I've heard about this. The queen had this castle built. Then she decided she was going to build a pyramid. She was going to build a pyramid uh, as a uh, gift. Okay, uh, look at this. So um, she bought this estate in 1852. They got this estate and Queen Victoria. Okay, look what happened. What did they do? They, um, they did a castle. They demolished an old building um, that was there, and in memory of a demolished structure, she placed a stone in the exact spot, and she's got a pyramid. She built a pyramid. She built this pyramid, and she called it the Karin, dedicated to Prince Albert. The queen did that. Why do you want to build a pyramid? That's what you got to ask yourself. Why would you build a pyramid? And, um, yeah, she built it. It had to have a significant meaning to her or she would not have uh, built that pyramid. She wouldn't. Look what she wrote on it. To the beloved memory of Albert, the great and good prince consort, erected by his broken something. What did he do? Broken? Broken something. His broken widow? Broken hearted widow? Victoria? You know, what if, you know, they say that the queen is a reptilian, the bloodline. What if this Prince Albert, um, what if she had married him? What if her and him have been there this whole entire time uh, reincarnating into these bodies and stuff? You know, keeping it going, living life after life after life. And she goes way back to the pyramids herself. Way back to the pyramids herself. Um, yeah, what if? What if? Um, so, yeah. So I think it's really interesting that she, who likes to build castles, see they, because they built the castles, they built the castle on top of the world's largest pyramid. Um, you can see it right here. Um, look at all these castles. Look at this. See, they're all over the world. All over the world, these pyramids are. And yet they only focus on the one. Look at this one. Um, 
the ancient pyramid in Cambodia. See, Cambodia, why would Cambodia have a pyramid? Why would they have a pyramid? You have to ask yourself. Why does everybody got to have a pyramid? But they do. I think that wasn't that, was that Cambodia pyramid in the Tomb Raider? Not the Tomb Raider, whatever that Angela Jolie thing was. Yeah, but look at that. Is that not neat? Um, they belonged, they belong to the light. I had not heard that before. That's really, really interesting, but it is. Well, look at the, I heard that there was, last night we found out that there were the Lords of the Light. The Lords of the Light, and then there was the Lords of Darkness. Um, of course, the Lords of Darkness, well, they, they weren't very, they weren't very nice, okay, because they brought chaos when they came, the Lords of Darkness. Um, they say, and I did see this last night when I was doing my searching, and somebody also commented on it, that Melchizedek was a Lord of the Light. Um, that's what somebody said. He was one like uh, the Lord of, look, and Methuselah. Now, how could Methuselah live 969 years? That's almost like an immortal, okay? It's almost like an immortal, an immortal being if you were to live 969 years. Now, they do say that the, the, the lifespan of humans was shortened. Okay, they did say that. And you know, and you have in the story in the Bible, let us make man in our own image. So they create man, but then um, they didn't want the lifespan of the man, of mankind to be 900 and some odd years. So they shortened the lifespan. Look at this. Is this not remarkable, you all? All of these pyramids, look at this. Um, the pyramid, top of the pyramid of the ancient complex. Could you imagine how thriving this area was? Could you? Because it's, it's like absolutely remarkable. And look over time, the pyramids literally, what on earth is that? I don't know what that's like. Ruined building of the ancient combes, con of Koh Kerr, Cambodia. Well, that's interesting. You know, there is so much stuff that you can find on the, um, the, pyram the pyramids. It's really a mind boggling and really you have to ask, what happened to that whole entire civilization that used to live there? What happened to all of it? What happened to the people? Did they go underground? Did the people go underground? Because they say that um, under the earth, you know, they say under the earth, they got all kinds of these tunnels. They got all kinds of these bunkers and stuff. And then you have, you have people saying, you know, they're blowing up the tunnels. They're blowing up the bunkers. What if these tunnels already existed? Okay, what if they already existed? Okay, there is ancient tunnels, ancient um halls, all this kind of cities underneath our feet. What if there's a whole new world that literally is thriving beneath our feet, you all? What if there is? Could you imagine how, could you imagine? I, bet I would love to go visit um, sites like this. I really would. I think it would be so interesting. Just take it all in. Um, it really would. But for the queen to like build a castle and then erect a pyramid in honor of her, yeah, Look at that. Built a pyramid. Okay. So, you know, I, I typed in the pyramids of the United States. Look at that. This is the castle. The castle would be on top of this pyramid, and that's what they say that pyramid would look like right there. And then what about this castle that lit this pyramid literally? Um, it literally towers above the treetops. Why don't um why don't we talk about that? Why don't we hear about that? To me, that's something worth talking about that type of history because I think there's more to that history than what meets the eye. That's what I think a lot more than what meets the eye. And yet it's like, well, I also read that the ancient Egyptians, they really weren't uh, concerned about the afterlife. They were really, um, they were really into DNA. That's what they were into, the DNA. And if they were into the DNA, then that would fit right into what's happening. Okay. Right in. It all boils down to, um, if I look at this from a spiritual point of view, if you look at the Lords of the Light and the Lords of the Darkness, okay, the Lords of the Darkness, they want to create their own race of beings, okay? They want to create their own race of beings. They don't like the spirit inside of us. They don't. 
because you know you can be a child of the light or you can be a child of the darkness okay you can and I really think they want to put out our light our light is a threat to the lords of the darkness and they do have their children on this earth wanting to usher in their arrival because they want to bring about chaos and then you have to ask yourself when they bring about the chaos and they just completely they want to wipe humanity off the face of the earth that was their goal wipe humanity off the face of the earth totally uh, and then start all over again like building your building your castle on top of the pyramids so you can start all over again because you know it's like ever so many thousands of years that's what they um said okay every so many thousands of years they do that they redo the history they totally redo it and i wonder i wonder what that was about i really do um i don't like all that fancy gold yeah it's kind of impressive but um no i don't like it i really don't like it um, but it's it's not for me to like look at that the great pyramid of Cholula, right there right down here in mexico mexico has all kinds of things now let's think about this you all so right down here in mexico that's in the um that's around the atlantic ocean the atlantic ocean and last night um there was this map I showed on the my other computer right there that Lemuria that there was a theory that the ancient like Lemuria or Atlantis was right around that area in that ocean area like that right around there and as I said sunk it just sunk okay it literally sunk um, wait a minute so so look at this so they talk about there's like these angel mounds in Indiana. Why would we have angel mounds in Indiana? Why would Indiana have any angel mounds? Um, that's, that's something too. And you know, also in Indiana, we have this thing called the, the serpent mound. That's, I think that, no, that's in Ohio. I think if you live in Ohio and stuff, there was ancient cultures is what there was, uh, civilizations. And then came you know who's and they just literally conquered them, took over, and the history literally was erased. All of the history was totally erased. So yeah, this is good that you all can be on here talking to one another. I think it really is nice because um, it's good to get this information out. It really is. Look at this. Well, I don't, what's a wiki wand? Look at this. What? You know, why, okay, let's ask, let's ask the question about this. Okay, I want to ask a question. Why did the Indians build their teepee like that in a pyramid shape? Why would they build it in a pyramid shape? The teepees are in the pyramid shape. See, that just popped in my head too. Um, they could have built it in a different shape if they wanted to, but no, they had to, they built them in the, pyramid shape that's an interesting thought to ponder why 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 would you do that just why would you do that um so um now i will say and you know i have said you know there's all kinds of um there's all kinds of places you can look and search about pyramids and there's people who know way more than i know they document them they find them out and, you know, there's lots of people that say, you know, yeah, okay, look, and, and in Las Vegas, you know, when I lived in Las Vegas, I think they did that um, pyramid thing in Las Vegas. Why do you want to uh, do the pyramid in Las Vegas, um, pyramid Las Vegas? I think it's, uh, they erected something like that when we were there. Yeah, they did. So why do you want to do that? Why would you why would you erect pyramid in Las Vegas? And it did the Luxor, the Luxor Casino. I've been in there. I really have. Um, why would you do it? Why would you want to beam your light up into the sky? See, why would you do that? Are you paying homage? Do you think perhaps they are paying homage uh, to the 
the gods. The gods. Now, granted, if you've ever been to Las Vegas, they have beautiful, beautiful uh, casinos on the inside. The architecture on some of them will just, it's immaculate. Uh, I'm thinking, where do you get all that money to make those casinos look the way they look? The, the hotels and stuff like that. I like to look at the hotels that were there. I really did. But um, this is, uh, they're really rolling it in. Look at that. This great big old um, lion's feet. They wanted to replicate it. They wanted to replicate it. Yeah. I, I used to watch that Stargate series. That was years and years ago. Years ago, you all. Years ago. So Las Vegas has erected a pyramid. The Queen of England had erected a pyramid. I bet you something's underneath that pyramid. There's probably something way underneath there. Um, otherwise, I don't think she would have chose that area to make that pyramid is what I think. Um, yeah, there are people who say that, um, well, there is people who say, or are people, let's use proper English, Gina, proper grammar. There are people who say that um, we used to have a tail. <laughs> that, that may sound funny to you, you all. But they said um, humans used to have a tail, but over time, um, that was like weeded out of us. But, you know, all jokes aside, there are people who have had like a little stubble there when they were born. You have to ask yourself, how is that possible? And it can't be a birth defect, okay? We know that certain, uh, like say I have, what if I was to have twins? Um, if twins ran in my family... But they passed my, they passed me, and maybe my my children would have a set of twins, or like the color of the eyes and stuff. You have these recessive genes within your being, recessive genes, and um, you know they've studied a whole lot about stuff like that. They really have. Um, it's uh, there's so much to discover. There really is, and there's little time to find out everything that. There is to find out. There's such little time left for us before they shut us all completely down. Uh, look at this. Look at this, you all. So we have this thing called the um, the Castle Howard in the UK. The UK's castles. So they have even more castles in the UK. Did you all know you had so many castles? I'm sure you did. You had so many castles. But see, this ain't going to... Um, let me look at it that well. Oh, this is just off of that. Um, yeah, that's all we can see about it. They're fascinated with these pyramids is what they are. They called it a castle. Does that look like a castle? It doesn't look like a castle to me. It really doesn't. Um, but that's okay. Um, have you ever really looked really far back into the um, Kennedy's? how far back they go into England, way, 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 way far back. Um, yeah, it was interesting. I spoke about it one time and that's it. Um, because there was, a ha there was a castle that this woman was restoring and that she went to, of course, the library and then she looked, went to wherever and she kept tracing back the original people of that area and then it was... It was really, 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 really strange. Um, in very interesting what she found because it was not such a pretty um, past if you go back and back and back and back and back. It wasn't. It was very quite alarming uh, to say the least. Um, but, um, but that's okay because you know what they do when they don't want you to read things? Well, they either cause the books to be totally destroyed um, documents and stuff history you know all of a sudden a big building that houses histories and things of certain areas it just went it, it goes up in flames and it was just a freak accident you all that's how you, have you ever noticed that and or the really really important ones are hidden at the vatican for nobody else to see because nobody else is worthy to see those ancient writings and books and history we're not privileged enough to see it 
So now granted that stuff is very old and you wouldn't want just anybody touching it because the, the, Vic, the books, the pages are fragile. But you know, why do you got to hide it all to yourself? Why do you got to have it to yourself? That's what you got to ask yourself. Oh, now let's look at this. So then we have um, the pyramid. Let's see what this says. I can't really read it right like this. The pyramid in Kuka, Kukuklan, known as the castle of the Shashan Itza. Yeah. Has any of you all, now some people identify with having lived before. They really do, like they have a past life. Um, there is something to it because children, when they are very, very little, they can tell you some of them, not all, they have memories that should not be there of being someone else in another lifetime. They have memories. Have you ever noticed also that when you turn age five and you go to the dentist, boom, a big whopping dose of that 30 minutes of fluoride in your mouth. No eating, no drinking, no water, no nothing. Boom, right there in your mouth so it can get absorbed uh, in your body. And then you don't got no longer, you no longer got no memories of, if you did live before, you don't have no memories of them. They slowly fade away. Okay, they slowly fade away. And how is it? You have to ask yourself, how is it that when uh, some people are, are having their near-death experience, they can look down and they can see their bodies there and they're up there. Okay, they know it's them, but yet they're way up there hovering over that body. How is that so? Okay, because are we just literally a spirit inside this body? Okay, so what happened? If, if that spirit literally hovered over that body, okay, and say that body that that spirit was in, uh, that body dies, well, what's going to happen to that spirit? Is it going to find another body and come back and be in another body? And the process keep repeating and repeating and repeating, okay? Uh, that's a thought to think about, you all, because there are people who have seen things. There is. Now, look at all of this stuff right here. Uh, yeah. The pyramids in Rome, Italy, right next to a castle. Okay, why do they want to put their castle? So, so it was all about pyramids at one time. And then, yes, a multidimensional. So, so they had erected pyramids all over the world at one time. And then all of a sudden you've seen castles, castles and big gigantic mansions popping up all over the place instead of the pyramids as time went by. As time went by, um, that's what happened. So, yeah. Oh, look, there's something called the Three Star Pyramid. Um, as the Three Star Pyramid, pithy Mary Sterling Castle in Scotland. You got a castle in Scotland. You got a Three Star Pyramid Castle in Scotland. Well, we, we really want to look at that. Um, because there's so much uh, to say. There really is. So, wow, that's really interesting. A three-star pyramid castle in Scotland. It's uh, on Drummond Pleasure Ground. So that's interesting. I didn't know you had them, but, uh, but at this point, I'm thinking the pyramids literally are literally scattered all over the world. And who... They were all connected. The race of beings who created those pyramids, they had to be all connected. They had, or, or they had to worship the same entity or something. You, I'm just talking out, I'm just speaking out loud. I, I don't have all the answers. No one has all the answers, but I'm a curious individual. Um, and you don't want to lose your curiosity, okay? You want to continually try to, you know, think outside the box and ask yourself, why does this, why does this happen? Okay, well, this looks really strange, too. Um, the Pyramid of Sestis. I, I don't know what the Pyramid of Sestis is and where is Sestis is at. So, um, Italy, in Rome, Italy, did they make that pyramid? Um, they could have, they could have built it. Um, it's uh, one of the best preserved ancient buildings in Rome. They, it was um, a tomb built for Gaius Cestius, a member of the 
a religious um, corporation. The religious corporation. Oh, wow. Um, look at that. Have you all seen an increase in the building of pyramids? Let's ask that. Have you seen an increase in the building of pyramids where you're at? Um, because that would be interesting. Because if there is, like a, even ceremonies, maybe they're trying to usher in something. They really could be trying to usher in something. It's... um. Like, I don't know where this is at either. Look at this. So they, they say this is the pyramid, the pyramid, the castle, Tulam. Tulam, where's this at? Okay. It's literally like they're all over the place. And um, is it in India? They have um, pyramids in India too. Um, is it pyramids in India? What if China has pyramids, okay? What if China has pyramids? Well, they got pyramids, you all. China has pyramids. So China has pyramids also. They got pyramids over there. Chinese period, pyramids of Xi'an. Look at that. It looks like a volcano. You all, I am serious. When I see these volcanoes, like I said the other day, they remind me of great big ancient pyramids. Yes, uh, Antarctica has pyramids. So we got just China's got pyramids in China. Look how it eroded over time. So that was a whole entire civilization that once used to be, and now they're gone. Once up. Why do they got that there? Why, why do they have a replica? in East China. Why would you want to do that? Isn't that interesting? Why would they have the replica in Memphis, Tennessee? Yes. Um, look at this. A bizarre pyramid-shaped building, and they did their houses on them. A massive ancient city of, oh my gosh, you all, of human sacrifices. Well, I'm telling you what, don't be sacrificing to these um, things that want to have these sacrifices. Okay, don't do it. Because it, that's not nice. I don't think it's nice at all. Oh my gosh. Uh, that, that wouldn't be a very nice um, being. It's not nice to do that. Uh, it's not. Okay, we, we don't have to do that. Uh, hopefully, as a race of beings, humanity has literally moved beyond that type of lifestyle. Okay, move beyond it because we don't want to go back today. We don't want to go backwards. It's, we want to go forward and move totally beyond that type of stuff, you all. Okay, and then look at the Chinese pyramids. And these people, they see that's that army right there that they made of those soldiers in that. Yes, and see, Emperor Rex, there is talk that that is going to come to us one day. There really is. This is like for sport. If it got really, really bad, um, I think that they would do that. Whoever these people are, these lords of darkness, they would love it. They really would love it. Um... Let's hope that we are, let's hope that we are out of here before it ever gets to that point, okay? And if we're not, let's hope that we are protected, uh, totally protected against that type of um, things that are going on, you all, because it wouldn't be very nice at all. It wouldn't be nice at all. Pyramids in um, uh, India, too. Yeah, see, we got, we got, um, are there any pyramids in India, they say? Are there? Hmm. Well, um, let, let's see. Well, what's that? What would that be? Are, are these in India? Or no? 
Now you know, oopsie, Gina, honey, you better get that back to you, you all. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting carried away, you all. I really am. It's easy to, um, yeah, it's easy to get uh, carried away when uh, you look at this. Um, you just got to your destination. Mystic Rose, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Um, it is. Look at this. Oh my gosh, you all. So we got, look, they're building the pyramids um, in Memphis, Tennessee. Why, okay, why you got to do this, you all? They are, they are ushering in something. That's what I think. Oh my gosh. I did not know this, you all. The iconic Memphis Pyramid. Oh my gosh. Wow. Something is up. Bass Pro. Right there by the waters. Oh my goodness gracious. Is that Tutankhamun? Who is this? Uh, who is this one right here? You all, we got to look at this. Who, are, who is this that they're talking about right here in this photograph? Um, does anyone know this god right here? This uh, ancient um, deity like Ramses. Okay, why do you want to put a pyramid to Ramses? Okay, what, what ancient deity and or god did um, occupy the body of Ramses? Which one was it? I'm sure there was some kind of ancient deity that occupied that body of Ramses. I really am. There's bound to have been one. The god Ra. Okay, the sun god Ra. Okay, that, that's good to know. So yeah, look at that. Um, king of churches have been very destructed. Um... Well, I don't think that um, these are going to be any better. Okay, you want to go to the pyramid <laughs> raw. Oh my, that the, it's, it's no coincidence that the eclipses will cross through Egypt. Um, wow, I did not, do you, do you, anybody else got pyramids in their, in their country like this? They're popping up in your cities? Pyramids in cities? That, that's a good, that'd be a good search. Why do you got pyramids in the cities? Um, pyramids in cities. Um, Memphis. Hmm. Look at this. I don't know where this is at. Uh, the Shimizu Mega City Pyramid. Where would that be? A Mega City Pyramid? Oh my gosh. Well, um, it's an idea. Oh, in Japan. They want to have it um, start. In 2030, oh my goodness, you all. That's really interesting. That's interesting, you all. Yeah, if you don't mind, please hit that like button. And so this video can get um, circulated because the, all of this is strange. A, a floating pyramid city, is this, is this real? A, a floating pyramid city? How can this be? How could any of this be, you all? Tokyo in 2060? They want to redo civilization again. Is that what they want? Redo civilization? Um, I would hope not. I really, I really would hope not. Um, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past them. I really wouldn't at all. Sudan. Sudan's Forgotten Pyramids. The Pyramids of Sudan. 
Okay, why aren't we talking about Sudan? Okay, why aren't we talking about Sudan? Do you all ever hear them talk about that? Why don't they? Um, that's a really good question. Is that near um, Ethiopia and stuff like that? Is uh, the Sudan? Because I think it's a very a poor area now, um, is what I think. Uh, that's what I think, you all. I think it, um, yeah, look at this. So these... No, I want to I want to see I want to see Sudan. That's what I want to see. Because there is talk that um look at this. Sudan's forgotten pyramids risk being buried by shifting sand dunes. Look at those you all. Shifting sand dunes. Um, the world's pyramid is synonymous with Egypt, but it is actually neighboring Sudan that is home to the world's largest collection of these spectacular ancient structures. Wow. Um, so this is by Ahmed uh, Mutasame Ab Abdallah Muhammad. You all, we don't hear about this. Now do we hear about this? Look at all those pyramids. Oh, it's right down here by this area. Look at that. Wow. Um, despite being smaller than the famous Egyptian pyramids of Giza, the Nubian pyramids are just as magnificent and culturally valuable. And they even, you all, let's open that up because Nubia, Nubian. Okay, you've heard of the Nubian kingdom. Wow. See, why don't, why don't they want to, well, we got to hear about all of it. We really do. The shifting sands, look at this, right here in Sudan. Um, this is a royal um, cemetery of Meru. Look at that. Fighting back against a D desert, for, desert, whatever, I can't say it, you all. Look, the Djibouti, Djibouti, look at this. Okay, what if, okay, the great green wall will run through the whatever. Did you ever think that whoever can control the sand and stuff, the wind, you know, they can cause sand stuff to literally cover up all of these um, things if they want. The shifting sands. Um, they got sand tracking satellites too, you all. Sand tracking satellites in Sudan. I opened up something, you all, and I, I want to find out where I opened it up about... Uh, Sudan. Oh, Nubia, look at that. Oh my goodness, it's the lion. Is that a lion? Is this the lion? Is this a lion? Sudan and Nubia? Oh my goodness gracious, look at that, you all. Nubia. Egypt. So I haven't really, um, Ethiopia used to be thriving. It literally used to be thriving. So you can look at that, Anubia, um, the Kushites, all of it, you all. So you, well, that's, that's, that's too long of a document, but they had royal pyramids, royal pyramids of Miro, architecture construction of a sacred landscape. Okay, so that's. There you go. Sudan had pyramids, you all. And I don't know how long. Oh, my goodness. I've been on here for around 50 minutes. I had to open my eyes really wide to see this. And for those who wanted to see this in landscape mode or who wanted me to do a screen share, this is, um, I like to do this at times, too, because I've been having technical difficulties with my sound system on my studio. They play in with me. They really are. So the Queen of England built a pyramid in honor of her Prince Albert, uh, Albert, the great and good Prince something. Um, was this the same castle where they saw children crawling out of the, naked children coming out of there? I think they, I don't know if that was the same castle. 
Um, I, I don't know. But we don't want to get into that either, you all. We don't. We won't. Don't, we don't want to get into that. But I am going to go. I'm going to get ready to wrap this back up, you all, is exactly what I am going to do. So why would you want to build your castle on top of pyramid? And I know that they knew that there were castles there. I mean, pyramids. Um, they're bound to have known that there was pyramids. Oh, Buckingham. Okay, yeah. So there was pyramids, but this is the largest pyramid in the world uh, down here. But Gina, honey, that's not wanting to show you that. The largest pyramid in the world. Um, oh, let's look at this. Uh, here's another. Look, they even give an example on a Wikipedia. North Korea. Oh. Are they are they um, constructing a pyramid in North Korea? Oh my goodness! Now um, San Francisco has a period. Oh my! The Great Pyramid of Giza. The, see, that's way down there below. Oh, this is really neat, you all. Um, the Luxor, and I apologize again for this and being my phone. So we want to get up here at the top. So Pinegong, the hotel. Okay, they got a hotel that that's tall. Okay, that's now we're getting to it. So there's a hotel. There's the Shard in London. Uh, this other pyramid, the Great Pyramids of Giza. Um, Luxor in Las Vegas. Red North Pyramid in Egypt. The B Pyramid in Egypt. The Collapsed Pyramid in Egypt. Um, the Mount Li Shun. Montezelum in Egypt, you all. So you can see all of this. This is pretty neat. The Pyramid of the Sun in Mexico, the Chihula. Uh, so wow. You know that there are. They could have. They could have looked at other pyramids, and they looked like they got a pyramid in France too. The Lavore Pyramid right there. It's teeny tiny, you all. Is what it is. Teeny tiny. So yeah. So I think it's all interesting, and I think there's so much more to these pyramids than what meets the eye. And I, and I think that um, uh, when I so also think uh, volcanoes, I want to say it again. Volcanoes. I want to. I think that um, I think volcanoes uh, are in the shape of pyramids, and that's why I got on pyramids because I was looking at these volcanoes and um, that's what I thought to myself. I thought they look like a pyramid and who knows maybe underneath the volcanoes there is a civilization, a race of beings underneath the volcanoes. They really could be you all and um, yeah but that one coming out of the ocean that looks pretty ominous too so I think um, the shapes of volcanoes look like pyramids also, I do. And I think there's something to it. And then, you know, Indians had their teepees in the shape of a volcano. Uh, and then you have um, pyramid UFOs. And then we have the pyramids. Um, so volcanoes and pyramids and teepees. And these ancient gods or something. It's, it's all... Um, yeah. So, um, you all can do your own research. You really can. Uh, because there's a lot of it out there. There's a lot of YouTube channels. And if you didn't want to sit and look at the videos uh, that people share, you can just do image search. Because you can sign, you can find all kinds of things, um, about, um, pyramids all over the world. Uh-uh. Now look at this. This, see, this is the one I saw. This volcano-shaped pyramid in Peru has erupted since stumped. Look at that. A volcano-shaped pyramid right there. I remember seeing that. That's really interested. interesting. So look at this. So um, you have, I'm sorry this is long, you all. A volcano, pyramids and volcanoes. See, somebody else has also thought about this too. The pyramids and volcanoes. Someone else has already thought about this also. It's extremely, um, extremely, extremely interesting. 
when you think about it. The pyramids, the pyramids of fire, you all. The pyramids of fire. And um, look at that. The Great Pyramid of Cholula. Cholula. And look at that volcano. Boom. See, look at that. So what if, look. Balls, pyramid, volcano, you are. What if there's really so much more to this? What if there is so, so much more to it? Um, I'm going to go. I've done talk too much. <laughs> talk too much, you all. Oh, my goodness. I want to thank you all for coming on here. Uh, and thank you, uh, moderators. Thank you, King Ahuka Mundo, Mystic Rose. Um, and if there's anyone else on here, thank you. Uh, and if there isn't, well, King, honey, you did a really fantastic, wonderful job. Your Gina loves you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. Yeah. Y'all yeah, hit that thumbs up button. Um, yes. Yeah. Because it's really interesting. It's all. Thank you all so much. Um, it's worth pondering, and if and they're erecting pyramids, replicas all around the world, and you have to ask yourself why? Why are you doing this? Okay, it's it's got to be tied to the past somehow, some way. Some type of energy is connected with it. Otherwise, you would not waste your time trying to reconnect with that energy from the past. Oh, you are so you're so very welcome, you all. Thank you so much. Uh, with that being said, hello wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello from my heart to yours. Love you and have a wonderful um, rest of your day. Yes, that's absolutely great. It really is. You all have a wonderful rest of your day. I know it's early for people to come on here. Love you.